Hello everyone and welcome back to my intro to Unreal Engine series tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to be covering how to make landscape materials. So um, you don't have to have a finalized landscape, you can just have a plain flat landscape if you want. Um, go to landscape and just say create if you don't have one. Um, other than that, all you So I'm going to make my own folder. I'm going to go to the, the root, which is the content folder. And I'm just going to make one for this. So landscape. I'll just say landscape. Um, we're going to put all our materials and stuff in there. So instead of looking for materials, I'm just going to show, I'm just, uh, sorry, textures. I'm going to grab them from the starter content. So we're going to need... Um, the color and the normal at least and most of these have that so um, I'm gonna grab I know there's a grass in here so grass you can type searches in here and you can um, find stuff easier and what I'm gonna do for this one is just drag them to my folder and do a copy so I don't have to keep looking in this folder um, look for as there's no dirt uh, I think there's a gravel we'll do gravel make sure you get the right one so this underscore D is diffuse which means color and underscore N is normal um, make sure they're the same thing and then we'll do it again where we um, make a copy over there so we have um, we have grass gravel Maybe one more, just so we can mix three together. Grass, uh, gravel, and yeah, there's not a whole lot, is there? Let's do sandstone. That looks like a brown, like a dirt kind of. Um, make a copy of that again. So now we got all our textures. We're gonna make a material. Um, right click, go to material, landscape underscore M for our landscape material. And um, we're just going to drag all these in there. So you can do it one at a time. That might even be smarter for this. Uh, we're going to want them in order. So make sure you get all of the color ones. I like to stack them like that. And then all of the normals. Make sure they're in order um, because you don't want the wrong normals mix, mixed with the wrong. Um, do a landscape layer blend. So just type over here landscape layer blend. That's what we want. And we are going to make three channels that we can blend together. So uh, click on your layer blend and then hit the plus sign three times. Um, you can name each of these if you open up these little uh, drop down arrows. So we'll say the first one is grass, uh, gravel, and the third one's dirt. They look the same. Get the idea. So the second one, open it up, we'll say gravel, and then the, this one we'll say dirt. So you can see those names we just put in on here. Now show there, and we can plug the textures into the names that we're using. So we're gonna use the RGB of each one and plug it into the corresponding layer. So grass, gravel, dirt, fine. Um, and so now we're gonna make a copy of this. You can right click and just duplicate it scoot it down and then we're going to do the same thing with the normals and connect the the same layers for the grass um, then we'll connect the output of those three textures to the base and the output of these three to the normal and hit apply so essentially we're just giving it a base color and a normal and there's three different and then we'll just switch between them. So that's set. Wait, what do you say? I don't know. 
if it's another file named that, but whatever. Um, so here's my landscape material. I will I can click on the landscape now and just drag it in as the landscape material. Everything will show up black for now, and it's also compiling the shaders. Um, there's one or two more things you have to do. So go into paint. Um, sorry, I don't need this extra one. And go to, oh, sorry, not paint. Go to landscape and then go to paint under there. And um, don't mind those. Now you can see when we applied the um, landscape material, the, the layers are now here. So all we have to do is press the plus sign next to each one of them and select weight blended layer, um, the top one right here. Put that somewhere that you can find it. So I'm putting it in the same folder. It's basically just creating a file where uh, it stores the information of where each texture is like on, on the landscape itself. Sometimes it take, these take a second sometimes. Um, there we go. And then we have to do it for all of them. So one more. Okay. Um, and that should be the setup. And now really all you have to do from here is, uh, I'll show you a couple of tricks, but just to switch between the different textures, you just click on the picture of the texture and paint it. Uh, it has to compile, but you can paint and they kind of blend together. You can see they're really tiled here. This doesn't show up if you're up close um, as bad, and they're really shiny. So let's fix that real quick. Um, we need the metallic to, well, okay, so it's too shiny. Let's figure that out first. Um, we need a number to tell it how shiny it is. So we need a constant right here, a constant one, which is just a number. And then we can set the value here. So maybe 0.1 tops if we put that to metallic. Uh, let's see if it makes a change. So it has to compile every time you, you change your shaders. Um, we're going to want to do the same with specular. And might want to, you know, uh, we could do a roughness of. 0.3 or something and that should be good enough might have to drop this drop it to zero I'll say sorry for the weight again this will look stupid until you start putting things on top of it um, yeah I'm gonna drop this to zero Okay, so um, one more thing we can do is, it's still not going to look great, but this, uh, one more thing, you can see how it was really tiling. Okay, there we go, it's not so shiny anymore. Uh, but you can see it's, it's still tiling pretty good. Um, it depends, if you press play, you can kind of see <laughs> how things look up close it doesn't look terrible up close like if there's plants and stuff covering the surrounding area it won't look bad um that does look bad but you can change the tiling if that's one thing you want to do um by ch uh, connecting the uv coordinates here so or texture coordinates sorry um and then you can connect uh, you can do it to all of them if that is what you want to do simultaneously this way you can make them all tile more or all tile less so you're just plugging a texture coordinate node which you just get by right clicking and typing it in texture coordinate and then we're just connecting all those to the UVs um, I can explain more about that later but now we have a node that's set up for the tiling so we can say let's tile it twice as much and then apply and see the difference in the scene. And that'll be it. Um, 
you know, you're just going to simply go click through the different layers. Let's see. That looks a bit better. Um, it has the same type of thing where it has the, uh, as the sculpting, where it has the tool strength, the brush size, and the brush fall off. You definitely want to start lower and smaller, you know, and start kind of slowly brushing things in um, and switch between multiple layers. And then later on, we'll start covering these things with, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd be much better off with more textures and stuff, but uh, we'll, we'll throw down some foliage next to cover up these hideous textures, and um, hopefully at least you figure out how to model things and create your own mixable textures that you can customize and uh, make really as big a world as you want pretty quickly. So um, thanks for watching, and we'll do foliage next.